Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video kind of just going over more of like my everyday routine or like makeup routine for being a new mom. If you guys don't know, I recently had a baby. He will be two months next week, which is crazy to think that he's going to be two months already. I can't believe it. It's just whoosh, gone so fast. If you're a new mom, you all know, or if you're a mom, you know. So I'm just going to walk you through some of the steps that I take just to kind of freshen up. Yes, I did wake up like this. Not this shirt. By the way, how cute is this? It's like a little gray shirt with this rose gold bling on the pocket. I got it from a local coffee shop where I work. Speaking of work, I have to go back to work next week. Ew. So lately I have not been using a primer. I've just been doing stuff that you know really shouldn't be doing with makeup i just take a little bit of this this is the covergirl and olay simply ageless <laughs> simply ageless three-in-one liquid foundation i have mine in the shade 205 ivory and i just take a little bit of that and put it all over the face my skin really has been really good lately so I haven't really had to do much of a foundation layer it's more so just to even out any redness or skin tone the areas that I have problems are the under eyes which as a new mom everybody has under eye bags and darkness but other than that that's really for concealer I'm going in with my NARS what is this I think this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have mine in the shade Vanilla. And I really like this because it blends so easily underneath the eyes. And I just put it kind of right in this area where I get really dark. Um, my baby really only wakes up about once a night. Which for two months old, I cannot complain about that. I hear a lot of people have it a lot tougher than I do. But you still get tired. So between concealer and coffee, that has been my life lately. And so I just blend that in. And then if I do get any redness, I have a little bit of redness down on my chin. I will take that same concealer and just put it there and a little bit on the forehead and just down the center of my nose because every woman gets red around their nose. so. And then I just take my Real Technique sponge. It's already damp. I like these soaking wet. Everybody says it shouldn't be. That's the best way that I have found to blend out concealer. It's the only way that I will put concealer on is with a sponge, whether it be a beauty blender or from Real Techniques. It just makes it so much easier than a brush. You don't see the brush strokes. And it just blends it, soaks up anything extra, so that's just my go-to. Next, I'm going in with my tried and true setting powder. Oh my gosh, I used to, I was using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I have now, I ran out of that and got the e.l.f. one, and for me, it's just, they're about, for me, it's about the same, like, they're about the same. I just don't. Maybe it's just me. I just don't see a whole lot of difference. So why spend, you know, the money on the Laura Mercier one when this one works just as well, in my opinion. So I'm just pressing some powder just to set the under eye and the eyelid. And that's about it. I, you know, some days I'll take a little bit and put it on the forehead and, you know, set the concealer that I put on my face. But for the most part... That's about it. And then I'm going to go in for a little eyeshadow. This is the Pop Feel. I got this in, I believe, my FabFitFun box. Pop Feel EP15-1 palette. But it's got just a bunch of matte, amazing neutral colors. Like, this is my ideal palette. Because you've got, you know, light colors, dark colors, warm tone, cool tone. You got this really pretty, like, cranberry color, this dark purple, mauve -y. I mean, it's just an overall, like, perfect palette. I will go in with a big flat 
or a big fat fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this color right here this kind of mid-tone brown and I'm gonna put that kind of on the outer corner and it's really nice since we've got that elf translucent powder down everything kind of just blends so nicely it's been a long time since I filmed a video holy smokes but the kid was sleeping so I figured I got the time might as well go in and do it and then I'm going to take this I can't pronounce that but this kind of flat shadow brush and I'm going to take this color right here which is just a step down from that one and I'm gonna put that all over the lid in the mornings when I actually do this in the morning because it's probably about 12 31 o'clock right now it just takes me like 10 minutes to get my makeup done the messy bun has been where it's at for these past couple of months so i'm just going back in with that original brush this is from crown that's all it says is crown on it and i'm going to blend just the outer edges and kind of blend those two colors together and then i'm going to go in Hey, my little, where'd it go? I just had it. Hmm. Okay, I'll use this one. I'm gonna go in with a little pencil brush and I'm gonna take that first color and just put a little bit of it right underneath, just on the outer half of the lower lash line. Just kind of open the eyes up a little bit more because I do have like small squinty eyes. So I like doing that trick to kind of help them open up a little bit more. That was loud. Sorry. And then I'm going in with this eyelash curler. Don't ask me what it is because I have no idea. I got it from my mom. My mom is one of those. She has like 55 subscription bags too that she gets every month. So it's hard to tell or hard to remember which one comes from which, like which box, but she gave me this eyelash curler, it's rose gold. I love rose gold. So, a couple curls on that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I've tried this a couple times and I'm still undetermined of whether I love it or hate it. I feel like it really separates and length lengthens the lashes, but at the same time, I like a little bit more oomph, but for everyday stuff, Okay, so just a couple coats of mascara, and you can kind of see it gives you more a lot of depth and like length, but it doesn't really like make them full. So I'm not sure how much I love this or if I hate it or not. I'll let you know. Next, I'm going in with my tried and true butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and this big flat. I will get that right one day. This big fat fluffy brush. This is from Still Spot Essentials. It's technically a blush brush, but I don't wear blush, so we'll just go in with some bronzer. And I just do the out, like the perimeter of the face. Don't really do much contouring because I quite frankly don't know how. But, and then I bring it down the neck a little bit to kind of give me a more bronze look, which I need because it is winter in North Dakota and there is no sun. Who else is ready for spring? I 100% am ready for it to be spring. And last but not least, I'm going oh. And last but not least, I'm going in with the Laritzi Cosmetics lip liner. This is in the shade Bare. And I just line my lips. This is pretty much the same color as my lips. And then on top of that, I have been taking my Bite Agave Lip Balm. I don't know if this is new or not, but it comes in the tube, which I saw and I was like, oh, yes. Especially with it being winter, this stuff is so thick but it does so much good for your lips. It's amazing. And that is pretty much it. This is 
messy bun status, I'll usually go in with some dry shampoo. I've been loving this Orbe Gold Lust dry shampoo. I got this from my mother as well. And I just kind of spray, just to add a little texture. I saw that rat tail. You see that right there? Mm-hmm. Pin that back up. And that is it. That is how I've been doing my makeup. If I'm wearing makeup, that is how I'm doing it lately. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And I will see you in my next video. I promise it won't be two months this time. I promise. All right. Love you guys. Bye.